Hello friends, so welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the introduction to MS Office. That means what are the applications or packages available in MS Office and where we can use this MS Office. And from today, I am going to focus about the Word, Windows Word, one of the application in MS Office. So mainly, uh, as per our discussion in the previous session, this Word is used to create the documents. That means if any uh, letter writing or any thesis writing or any project works and all these things can be done by using this word document and now we will see the introduction to the word document so how it looks and what can we do by using the word document so in order to open the word document in the previous session i have said so click on the windows button plus r you will get the run command and here you need to type windows win word win word and press enter automatically word will be opened so you can observe here so i am using the version office 2013 so you can see here office 2013 right so here you will be having a different layouts different templates so according to our requirement we can select one template so that it will be appeared so here you can observe for example, you can observe here the snapshot calendar. If you want to create a document similar to the calendar, calendar type document, just click on this one. Automatically, you will get the, the template of the calendar so that you can simply edit. You can do the edit. See, month March 2021. Okay. So that the template will be ready. So you can observe here, right? So March and title and here you can edit the content and here you can give your uh, uh, appointments here, right? So the template will be like this. And if you don't want to go with any other uh, template, simply if you want to uh, create your own template, so just go with the blank document. You can observe here the first one is a blank document. You can go with this blank document. So the blank document will be appeared. Right, and see, this is the introduction. This is how the word looks like. And here, the topmost one is a title bar. It's called a title bar where the the title of the document will be displayed. If the title of the document is document one underscore, I mean hyphen word, that implies this is the unsaved document. That means you have created, you have opened the document, but you 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 are not. So you, I mean, you have not saved the word file, right? So if you save that file, that file name will be appeared here. So see, go to the file. So this is called a menu bar. Okay, this is the title bar and this is the menu bar. So here you can find the menu file, home, insert, design, page layout, references, mailings, review and view. All these are the menus. Okay, menu. And down the menu this is called a ribbon where we'll get a more options in, uh, in that particular menu so if you click on this home these are the options available in this home menu and if you click on this insert these are the options available in insert menu and if you go with the design these are the options for design menu page layout references mailings review and a view so this that's why we call the this thing as a menu bar and this down options called as a ribbon okay menu ribbon right so and you also you can observe the divisions in the ribbon you can find the divisions giving some title like clipboard font paragraph styles editing so that implies these are the options so this portion of the content gives the options for the clipboard that means copy paste cut and all these things and this is this portion will give the font options font options so we can change the font color, we can change the font style. So we can, uh, whatever the options we can apply on the font, all the options will be here. And coming to this one, paragraph, the paragraph options. And this is a styles, how the uh, document, the data should be look like, right? These are the different styles we can apply here. And then this is the editing. That means find, replace and select all these things will become under this editing. And if you want to get a more number of options, you can just click on this one. So you can observe here on the right down corner. Okay, right down corner. 
you will observe the expansion okay arrow mark this is an arrow mark if you click on this one the clipboard options will be displayed see the clipboard options will be displayed similarly if you click on this one the font options will be displayed and you can have also advanced options and all the options will not be displayed on the home screen right so all the options will not be displayed on the home screen if you want to use a more number of options just go with this expansion so it will be expanded and each and every option will be uh, uh, appeared here right and also similarly paragraph so this is the paragraph options all the options right and then these are the styles style options these are the style options similarly the editing option so this is all about our home and you can observe there will be some tool tip tool tip so you you doesn't require any instructor right so because if you just move on your mouse to any option just give one second or two seconds time you will get the name of that particular option at the bottom so if you observe here if you keep moving on the b so at the bottom you got that bold control plus b control plus b means that is shortcut so how we can apply with the shortcut also right so make your text bold similarly you just move your cursor to the a so you can you get the text effects and typography add some flair to your text by applying a text effect such as a shadow or glow so like that you will be having this tooltip for each and every option in this document so if you go with this uh, this one so you can get borders add or remove orders okay so see no spacing heading 1 heading 2 so like that if you go with this one so this is a replace what is the shortcut for replace it's a control plus h control plus h will replace search for text you would like to change and replace it with someone else and go with the find so you'll get control f is a find so you can you can use this tool tip so this is called a tool tip so it gives the name of that particular tool so with that tool what we can do so all these things will be cleared here right and this portion you can observe here there is a large rectangle so this is called the body of the document where we can write where we can write okay so you can observe here this is a cursor here it is moving it will it will just leave the space from top and from left this is called a margin okay so even though the document starts here but the cursor is blinking here itself that means from the topmost corner or top to this particular point this is a margin top margin and left to right this is a right margin left margin and if you are just typing here so hi welcome to youtube channel you are learning ms word tutorial so home button and options in home button just i am giving some two lines because you can observe here so the content ends here the line ends here itself that means this part from this one to rightmost corner this is the right margin this is the right margin similarly there will be a bottom margin also okay bottom margin if you observe here i will just keep up going with the enter so you can observe see so this is the last line in this document you can observe here if you go further it will move with the second page right so that implies this is the last last line this is the last line that means from here it is a, a bottom margin bottom margin so for every document there will be margins on top right left and bottom so how can we know the margins so here if you are having any ruler then you will know about the margin so how to get the roller here so go to the view menu view so here you can observe the roller right option roller so if you click on this roller automatically you will get the scaling here the roller will be appeared you can observe here right so this is the starting 
document and this is the end position of the document so this complete this one is the margin and you can change the margin okay you can change the margin by just uh, keep on uh, dragging this one to the leftmost one and also you can drag this one to the rightmost one so automatically it will be the margin we can change the margin and also you can drag this one to upward so that the top margin will be reduced and similarly you can drag to downwards here you can drag to downwards so it will reduce the bottom margin bottom margin right so and also and also you can have the margins here so if you want to give the manual margin so here you can observe so just click on the roller just click on the roller you will get the complete margins uh, tab okay so here you can observe top left bottom right and all these are the margin positions now you can observe the top margin is 0.75 cm so this is from the topmost to the line and the bottom margin left margin and the right margin and also you can find the orientation so how the page can be displayed so it is whether it is whether if you want to display the page in portrait or if you want to display the page in landscape so you can observe here so this is you, you just observe there is a change i will just uh, change the margin okay so we'll change the margin and uh, let's check yeah i have changed the margin and now you can observe here so we can change the layout we can change the layout so here you can observe the layout portrait or landscape so this is the portrait that means this is a horizontal oh, sorry a vertical vertical layout so you can go with the landscape automatically you can observe here the change okay the page it's a vertical and this is a horizontal so if you click ok the vertical i mean the the page will be like this the layout will be changed to like this and that can be done by using this page setup page setup okay so multiple pages the mirror margins two page sheet or book fold so whatever it may be we can give here and apply to whole document so apply to whole documents means this uh, landscape or portrait so if you are having a multiple pages you can use a combination of portrait and landscape so if you are having the two pages see so by default it will be two two pages are in the landscape and if you want to change the landscape to portrait you can go with this portrait here okay you can change the landscape to portrait or portrait to landscape right so this is how we can apply the orientation and also paper what's the paper size a4 paper by default it would be a4 paper and customized size if you go with the customized size the width and height will be displayed here and also the layout uh, once again the layout different odd and even different with the first page and all these things so we'll we'll see all these things in the page layout so if, if you observe here in the menu there is a uh, a menu called page layout here you will, you will see all the options right so this is the basic introduction to uh, windows word okay so and uh, before leaving the session just one more thing i just want to say so this bottom bar bottom bar is called a status bar bottom is a status bar and these three things are the view of the document how we can view the document so this is the read mode this is the print layout mode this is the web layout mode so by default it will be in the read mode okay uh, sorry print layout mode and if you go with the read mode automatically the mode will be changed you can observe the options will be removed here all the options will be in a hidden so only the content will be available okay this is the read mode this is the read mode next and this is the web layout mode here also you can observe this is a web layout mode web layout okay in if you want to create the html pages you can go with this web layout mode and the representation will be like this okay and by default it will be the this one print layout mode and this is you can observe here uh, this is the english uh, the language which we have selected and here you can observe the words so if you are continuous typing so how many words it will de default by default it will count and it will represent here so if you select the text so it will count the words and it will display see 
seven of 19 words the total document will be having the 19 words and you are selecting only the seven words right and also the page one of two so there are two pages so you can observe here you can observe here there are two pages okay so in the two pages so this is the first page and this second page so one of two or if you just go with the only one page see if you are having only one page here you can see one of one that is one page and this is a zoom zoom in zoom out okay by default it will be in the hundred percent and if you want to zoom in you just click on here so the content will be zoom in and if you want to reduce the font uh, I mean reduce the zoom in so go with the zoom out so it will be reduced so this is for zoom in and zoom out right so hope you understood this one and uh, so if you are having any doubts regarding this session so feel free to post your doubts in the comment session uh, i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much